Whoa, check oh. out the Zumba moves. Yeah. Jimmy, you've got it going on. on. You may remember a couple years back when we got a Zumba lesson. Well, it's time for a refresher. And guess who is a Zumba instructor and graciously offered to help us with our lesson? Brittany Cooper, WBOC's Brittany Cooper is back and is going to give us some lessons. You've been yeah. a, an instructor for how long now? I've been instructing for four years now. I used to do it all the time. Now I get to do it once a week. I love it. I have such an energetic class and yeah. they just bring me so much joy. Okay, well you're going to give us a lesson, so yes. let's just go ahead and get started. Cue the music. Cue the I'm, music. Ready. I'm ready. Okay, so we're doing a merengue. So one of the first moves, we're just going to be doing a little merengue march here. We're going to go to the side. Oh. Okay, and switch. All right, now we're gonna do a V step. So just kind of doing a little V. Keep going. You got it. I guess I should be in step with her. Yeah. Shouldn't I? So no. you're from around here, Zim. I around am. Here, right? And we're gonna go inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm from Laurel. Um, I actually grew up there. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're just gonna keep dancing here. Okay. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> And you're also, you're not only a Zumba instructor, you're reigning beauty queen. Tell us about that. Well, really? I was actually Miss Laurel, believe it or not. They oh. crowned me here. Um, and you can see in this photo, this is when I was crowning our next Miss Laurel, which is Lauren Hitch. She actually works here with us oh, at the PBOC. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, uh, what do you here. do in your free time when you're not... Uh, <laughs> doing Zumba, I guess, or right? WBOC. Well, I have a little two-year-old who kind of keeps me on my toes, um, oh, she, literally and figuratively. <laughs> she likes to, um, she likes to Zumba with me, so we usually do the DVDs together. Oh, so really? that's fun. Yes. Jimmy, you We're just kind of Jimmy's kind of going off on his own yeah, here. So that, yeah, that is one of the is moves. Okay? You could do some calypso. See, you know, yeah, that's cool. You knew a move. Oh, We're I just having that. fun here. So. <laughs> and I saw that you did some some uh, salsa before. I saw that you were doing a little bit of this little hip movement. You, you, you could do that too, right? See, he's got the rhythm. I have no <laughs> rhythm whatsoever. Well, maybe, maybe it's just the, the talking and the, and the dancing See, at the same time. See, we call them spasms. You know? Yeah. <laughs> So we're just kind of having some fun here. Yeah. So why Zumba? Yeah, why? why Zumba? Well, um, I actually used to be on a competitive hip hop team when I was in college, really? um, high school and college. Mm -hmm. So then I decided I wanted to keep it up and why not, you know, get paid to do it. But not just that, because it's fun <laughs> too. This is, you usually don't talk during this, right? Yeah. Um, no, usually, actually, they, they encourage you to be very quiet when you're doing it because um, it's all about, you know, your, your nonverbal cues that you're doing. So. We're just kind of making it up as we go along, too. Usually there's choreography for most of these songs. Right. Now, Brittany, you're also very active in your church. I am. Um, I go to 3C USA in uh -huh. Del Mar. Um, we recently had a really big conference. We had some speakers from South Africa. Um, I, I, uh, I'm involved in that and um, in one, some of the groups there and in the choir, as you can see there, even nice. though I'm not big on singing. But, <laughs> but I, I just sing my heart out. I really love it. So, yeah. so that's you know usually where you can find me if I'm not Zumbaing or, you know, here on TV. <laughs> I think we should just let Jimmy just kind of yeah, do his own with thing. It. You have so got it. So this is the part that I was showing you here. So look at, I throw something out <laughs> trying to do this. <laughs> hey, I'm doing it in heels. I just want to yeah. let everyone yes. know that. Did you know I have an outfit like that? <laughs> you do? You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> I bet you usually Zumba's in heels, right? <laughs> Brittany, Woo! it's been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining yes, us this afternoon. Yes. All right, now that we've gotten our workout in, we've earned a delicious baked dinner, right? Well, after the break, we're in the Del Marva Life Kitchen learning to make a baked oyster dish. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And while we're uh, headed to the Del Marva Life Kitchen, one of the most important utensils you can have is a thermometer, but not just a meat thermometer. Here's Rachel Ray with another handy how-to tip. You know, people think about checking their thermometers usually once a year around Thanksgiving. You should always stay on top of whether your thermometer is reading correctly for meat and that your oven is reading co correctly. They sell these oven thermometers right in every grocery store, pop it in your oven, and if it says 350 but you've got the oven set to 4, you know you're running 50 degrees shy of where you need to be.